So here's an example of problem solving with tables. Now remember, when you see a table, it's okay to think of them like arrays in multiplication. Now if you have a problem like this that reads Claudia is decorating her room. She has three colors and striped or plaid curtains. How many ways can she decorate her room? Now it doesn't matter what colors she has to figure out how many ways she can decorate a room. It really only matters that we know she has a total of three colors to use, to choose from. So this table that you see shows all three colors, and I, I picked three colors, tan, blue, and gray, um, but it shows how each color can be combined with the type of curtains she has to choose from. So here, she chooses, if she chooses striped curtains, she can combine that with her color tan. Or she can have striped curtains with the color blue. Or striped curtains with the color gray. So in each box, I put STR for striped and tan. So you can see that's one combination. The total number of combinations you can now see is six. There are six ways to decorate, given three colors and two types of curtains. So that's it. That's all there is to do with problem solving with tables.